very much. Ollie, it was always going to be a difficult challenge. It proved to be that right to the death. Yeah, definitely. Of course, uh, very disappointed to concede with one of the last kicks of the ball or head, uh, the, the header there. And uh, that makes it harder, of course. But it was always going to be uh, uh, going down to uh, the second game down there anyway. Yeah, the keeper a bit disappointed with that. Well, he's, it's a header from six yards. It, he, he can't save it, of course. Uh, I've seen him save them, but it's a structure that we lose. Uh, we uh, drop too deep and we get we get blocked off and Shar uh, makes a good run and gets the header on it. We should have attacked the ball with the, with the men we've had there. You said before the kick-off that the, the performance against City set the standard and you wanted to get there. Did you feel you were a long way from that today? Yeah, we were a long way. Of course, possession-wise, 50-50. Uh, we were a bit too slow with the possession, though. We, it's, it's sometimes hard on a, after the back of a game like we had, but that's the learning that uh, we have to get into ourselves. And we have to pre perform every single week because we're playing against good teams, and these are definitely a good team. And some misses as well. I mean, Harry Maguire will talk yeah. about that miss, yeah. and Dan missed one as well. Dan yeah, James. but that, that happens. And uh, the one Dan James, second half, of course, it's, a, it's just... It happens at times you don't connect with the ball as you want to and uh, of course we could have scored one or two more but then again they had loads of attempts uh, and especially the header second half from back, back stick there that just went wide we could have could have gone in so probably a draw is a fair result we saw why you've invested in Ahmad Diallo and the potential he has as, a, as an instinctive goal yeah it's it's creative and he's got uh, he plays with freedom uh, great pass by Bruno by the way that's that's of course what's make, uh, what makes the the goal and uh, Ahmad good good first uh, for he's been on the pitch before but nice goal uh, he's still got lo loads to learn uh, and uh, he'll he'll be better off uh, after having so this, had his tie still in the balance obviously yeah makes it very difficult going out there though yeah of course but yeah we'll we'll get players back hopefully uh, they they get players back so uh, it'll be a a good game again against with two good teams well speaking of that a martial injury you've already got rashford yeah Cavani not, maybe but yeah not very nice but um uh, hopefully Marcus is ready for next weekend uh, or sorry next week uh, on Thursday so I'm not sure if he's going to be ready for the weekend Makavani may be as well uh, for the Milan game away so we should be uh, putting a stronger stronger team out on uh, on paper anyway thank you very much Oli thank, thank you, you. Yeah. yeah it's going to be a proper scrap isn't it well, the thing Thursday. Is, yeah, well, the thing is as well, they were missing half their starting 11, yeah. Jake. Hakan Chalanoglu, uh, Ibrahimovic, Rebic, you know, fantastic players. Hernandez United Sarefa. have injuries as well, up no, front particularly. Yeah. No, no, they do. Obviously, Marshall and Rashford is, is a huge miss for them. Um, but I think this game set up, you know, for, for the second leg because we said if you get an away goal, you give yourself a really good chance and that late goal for Milan gives them a, gives them a good chance. But... I think United, now they know what they're up against, they'll be playing better yeah. in the second game. I think we're all a bit crestfallen with that finish. I saw Dean Henderson walking off here a few moments. He just looked up, didn't he? He was like... Ugh. Coming off the back of that brilliant win over Manchester City, let's see United dominate. But maybe those two games, back-to-back, -back, sum up where this United team are at. Yeah, but it's exactly where, where they're at at the minute. The inconsistency of the team, you see how brilliant they were on, on Sunday, pressing them all against the best team probably in Europe at, the, yeah. at this minute. So... It gives you optimism then coming into a game against not not a bad AC Milan team, but not an AC Milan team you'd expect a young yeah. AC, AC an Milan AC team. An AC Milan team that are better than maybe you thought tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think so. Um, <laughs> yeah, they definitely surprised. Me. I thought I thought they were really good. As I say, good young players. Kessie was excellent. They got a little bit of experience in there as well. Don't forget. I know the keeper's very young, but he's been around a long time. He's a really good keeper. The centre half uh, has been around quite a bit. Um, yeah, disappointed. But that, that sums up Manchester United. That's where we're at. That's the inconsistency yeah. that you need. Well, you need consistency to win a league, to win trophies. You have to be consistent throughout. And, you know, you think of the, the points they've dropped at home, especially in, in league games. It, uh, do you know what? They're in trouble in this game now. They're, they're lucky. They're very lucky. They snatch your hand off for that one all tonight after, that, after the way they performed. Um, and going away next week, if you've not got Martial, you've not got Rashford, I'll tell you what, it, it could be tricky. It was, it was tricky, <laughs> it was to be tonight, fair. Was tricky already. No, yeah. it was tricky. And to be fair, I think we, as United didn't play as well as they could have. But you've got to put a lot of credit to that young AC Milan team. The youngest in the Serie A came here. We thought they'd sit in, you know, just be happy to be here. 
embrace the occasion. But they were fabulous, honestly. They, they were confident. Brahim Diaz played great. I thought Tamori again, he played great. Um, all the players, you know, they were really brave in possession. That's a well-coached young team. And they, they play with real courage today. And you've got to commend them for that. Listen, right, success in any walk of life isn't linear. There's always going to be little issues and little blips along the way. When Dean Henderson got the opportunity in the Manchester United first team with David De Gea off celebrating a new baby, there was always likely to be a blip or a moment. And now this becomes about his reaction, doesn't it? Yeah, every, look, every goalkeeper's made mistakes. And I think for Dean, he'd be... You only really know the players until you really make a mistake. And he'll know, He just if he probably stands up, I'm not a goalkeeper, I don't understand technique, but I think if he just stands still, he catches it. Maybe he gets put off by somebody in front of him, or as Scolzi said, maybe he just tries to push it over. Um, but he'll, I think he'll realise, he's confident, he's smart, he'll realise that that's a save he needs to make if he's yeah. going to be in goal at Manchester the, United. The, the trouble is with that, it's when the mistake comes in his career, really. No, not his career, but in this chance he's been given in the yeah. team, it's come in his sec second game, second, third game, I think it's his second game, it's, it's early. Can, now he has to respond to that. He, he had a great chance now of five weeks, doing really well and making the manager pick him every week mm. and telling David, look, I'm sorry, there's no way I can leave this boy out. Now that just gives a little opening again for David. Yeah, and I'd look, I think they did the right thing, bringing Dean Henderson back and just, just seeing where he's at. I think he's done up to this point, he's been perfect. That's the first mistake that he's made and I think Oli look Oli's, Oli's going to support him he's going to realise that he, that he made a mistake Dean's going to know that he made a mistake and look that happens that, that position is very unforgiving we've seen it in the past but I, I don't think it's something that's going to hurt him I think he'll bounce back but that's why you're at the top we keep speaking about Haaland and Mbappe and Ronaldo and Messi the reason is the consistency over a long period David De Gea has done it for a very long period okay he's made his mistakes but he's had some fabulous moments as well and I think for Dean he just Yet, he doesn't have that credit in the bank like David does. Um, and that only comes with the experience. But it's a learning curve for him today. How would that have worked in the dressing rooms that you played in? What happens there? Do, would you have left the goalkeeper to his own devices after that, go over, have a conversation? No, you support him, don't you, Scalzi? Yeah, well, uh, look, it, it depends on the experience of the goalkeeper, I suppose. Yeah. If, it's, if it's David, you'd probably just leave him alone. Yeah. If it's one of your experienced keepers, leave him alone. Get, let him get on with it. He'll, he'll know how to recover. He'll, he'll know how to get over it. With Henderson, it might be a little bit different. Just you know, just walk over, just say, don't worry about it. we we'll go again next time. Um, maybe give him a little bit of encouragement to... Because he will be down. I think he'll be, I think he'll be gutted about it. It's not, look, it's not a glaring mistake. It's not, it's not gone through his legs or anything. It's a mistake, but not a, such an obvious it's the, one. It's the magnitude of the game and the moment in the match, though, isn't it? That's the, that's the It's the moment in the match, and you know, for goalkeepers especially, concentration is a big thing. For that, for that full 93, 94 minutes, whatever it is. Yeah. And that's what, what we've seen, 93rd minute, is it? it, it it's a mistake. And it's, look, you, you can't just blame that for, for tonight, putting United in trouble, that mistake. United were, were second best all night. Yeah. AC, AC Milan were very good. They, had, they scored a really, really good goal um, that was disallowed. And they fully deserved the victory. So, as I say, he's made a mistake. United could be in trouble for the second leg, we know that, but they've got away with one tonight still. Uh, I, th I still think they're lucky to come away with just a 1-1 draw. Well, they're going to have to go away from home and score a goal, there's no doubt about that. Let's talk about the goal they scored this evening. It was a moment of beautiful improvisation, really, wasn't it? Yeah, fabulous to see a young player come on and have such an impact in the game. He's, he's confident on the ball and Bruno Fernandes, I mean, this is, this is what Bruno does great. Just finds a little pocket space that Skulls are used to. That is an amazing run for a young kid. You know, it doesn't look like there's a ton of space in there. It gets him behind to Maury. The execution of that just shows you, it doesn't matter how tight it is, a good pass and a good run beats any defence. And that is a fabulous moment for the young man. I thought you had some really good moments and that is a brilliant header. There's no, as he makes the run, there's no plan to do that when he starts the run, is that? That's just him reacting to the ball that comes into the box. Right? There's no plan to, for him to head For it. the way he heads the ball behind. Like no, you, you, have to, you have to obviously adjust to, to where the ball's coming to him, and that's, that was the best he could have done with that ball. I said, um, Fernandez in them spaces, he, he will look for that run. Um, great run from Diallo. And look, if it comes to his chest, yeah, he'll try and chest it down. But he's had to improvise. Uh, it's not something you, you see a lot, and the, that back header was, was brilliant. And some decent names there, young goal scorers in Europe for Man United. Some of the best 
company he could ever be in. So um, nice to see him come on and have such an impact in, in a really big moment. Um, confident boy as well, you know, so to get a goal, I think, is going to be huge for him. We'll hear from Ole Gunnar Solskjaer soon. What's the mindset then for, for United in this second leg? Just be the same. United are brilliant away from home. We've seen that. We've seen the record they've got. They will be allowed more space, I think, over there. I think the key is having forwards fit. You know, if it's Greenwood, James, and Diallo, I'd be slightly, slightly concerned that they're not going to go there and be free scoring like they were yeah. in against Sociedad. I think they need them players for what what was wrong with Martial tonight. I'm not too sure. We didn't see, really see anything happen. He limped off. We saw him we saw him limping off. Is he going to be ready for next week? Rashford. I think Rashford will be okay. Um, from what it looked like on Sunday, it looked like a slight. Um, ankle tweak. I think Ollie's just been a little bit cautious with him tonight. Get him ready for Sunday, and also for next week. And there's Cavani as well. Um, you, you, you just worry about the experience going to Milan. Yeah. If, if then front three, if, if you finish, if you start with the, fin the front front three that finished tonight, have they got the experience to go over there and the and the quality to score goals? Only two shots on target for United this evening. We can see some of the chances they created now. Yeah, I mean, look, the, the team that was creating chances really was, was AC Milan. This was the first one from Harry Maguire. Just, you know, just a miss, you know, whether he gets put off by the post, he thinks he's going to collide into it. Um, but that was really their, fir their first opportunity and um, didn't, didn't create really a ton of clear-cut ones. Maybe that one comes a bit quick to Dan James, but you'd have to say, as Scolzi said, AC Milan had the better chances without question. And I think for Ole, you know, because this is such a young team and it's not full of superstars like they used to be, maybe they didn't really know the players up against them. They, may, they were surprised how brave they were in possession. They dominated the midfield. I thought they were terrific, AC Milan midfield. And I think going into the second leg now, they'll have a much clearer picture of who they're up against and they'll have to step it up a couple gears. Yeah, maybe in some ways that's a good thing. They'll go into the next game. I mean, they had 15 attempts this evening in Milan. If the Manchester United players did underestimate them tonight, yeah. they certainly won't do in seven days' time. No, they won't. The warning signs are there from right, right from the off, really. They started brilliant. It was almost... Milan almost, almost started this game as like United started against Manchester, against Manchester City. Really aggressive, really positive. Did everything to try and score goals. Threw men forward. And United just weren't ready for it. They, weren't, they, they just weren't at the races at all tonight. Um, they, were, they were totally outplayed in, in nearly every every area of the pitch and like you say next week they've had that warning sign they, they cannot come into that game next week complacent I think they came in slightly complacent tonight if that happens again next week well it can't happen again no they, they've well, they'll had, be out if it, if it uh, well they'll be out again I, I think they've had a real shock tonight yeah. and that hopefully that'll you know lift them into a bit of life for next week hmm. what about Milan in a few days time you expect them to be the total opposite to Man United and think, hold on a minute, this, this game's there f for the take. And how do you approach a game in the second leg when you've got the away goal? Well, I think they struggle to play much better than that. Yeah. Um, and, and think about some of the important players they're missing, Rebic and Ibrahimovic and Chalanoglu. Really, they're the experienced players. That front three, the average age was, was 21 years old. You know, the middle of the park, they were fantastic. Come back in there. So does the manager change it? What, what we saw today was a well-coached team that are brave. On the ball, they pressed. Uh, they played a high line at the back. So if they play like that, I think, they'll, especially with the away goal, they'll believe they can go through. But I think, as Scolzi said, United are brilliant away from home. Yeah. And uh, I expect them to, to get the job done. So do you remain confident? I mean, their record at the San Siro is not great. But when you look at it this evening, are you still confident we'll be covering Manchester United in a European quarter-final this season? Uh, I think if they have the three best forwards fit, then yes. Uh, I think them forwards away from home are that good that I'd expect them to go through, yeah. What do you think? Yeah, they need to. They need to. You know, it's important that they win a trophy. They're one of the best teams left in this competition. Look, they they got a, they got learned something tonight against a really good young AC Milan team and they need to be better in the second leg. Knockout competition, you need to find a way. And, and I think Ole Gunnar, so far in these big moments when he's needed something, he's found something. And if they get a performance like they did against City then they're going through. He's probably learned a lot as well and we'll hope to hear from Ollie shortly. Normally he comes out quite quickly. In fact, I can see him emerging down below us right now. He'll be making his way over to, uh, to Des Kelly in just a second. The frustration for him is, is that some weeks they're great, other weeks they're not. He has to try and solve this problem, doesn't he? Inconsistency. He, he does, yeah. Look, that's been the problem all year. Um, he, he, uh, as much as he's doing on the trading pitch, 
sometimes it's just about attitude. Yeah. I think it, he knows the qualities there. We've seen the qualities there. He has to try and get the best out of his players and make sure their attitude is right to go into these type of games.